Hi, I'm George Pearson, and I'll be using Photoshop Elements to show you how to change t-shirt color in here to match different color swatches. Let me just show you one of these in here. There we go, just like that. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share as well. Also, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get the notifications. And to learn a lot more about using Photoshop Elements, Take a look at my complete training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. For this Photoshop Elements t-shirt project, we need to start off with a nice clean picture of a t-shirt. Now, I didn't have one, so I made one. Let me just show you what I did here. I'll get rid of that right there. And let me just hide the background and that I found this picture here. I removed the background and I removed the hanger. So that gives us our nice clean t-shirt here. So the better your beating picture, the easier this is going to be. So there's our basic t-shirt. Now that's actually the hardest part of this if you don't have a good picture. So make sure you get a good picture and you're way ahead of the game. The color swatches over here are just color swatches and they're just sitting on one layer as you can see right there. And then if you want to have a graphic image, just put that on its own layer on top of the whole stack, then everything else will be changing underneath of that one layer. Okay, let's see how we can change our colors in here to match these different color swatches. The top color swatch I just copied from the green over here, and then I found some other ones that kind of work well as a set. Your first step is to make a duplicate of this layer. Now you want to have this layer with a transparent background. Let me just hide both of those. So the t-shirt should be on a transparent background for this to work. And I'll bring that white back up again so the white's on its own layer. So right click where the name is and then duplicate layer, choose OK. We can now hide the original shirt right down there. So we just have our first duplicate left up here. Now since we're changing the colors, we'll be putting in our own colors, which means we need to get rid of the color on this layer. So I'll go up here to enhance, come down to convert to black and white. And then we're just going to be using this to lose that color and just leave us with a black and white image. Now what you want is to look through these and find the one that gives you a nice light color with pretty good contrast. So none of those are any good. Looks like infrared or newspaper. And I think infrared is a little bit better. It's a little bit lower in contrast here. Actually, I think they'll work out better for us. So I'll use that one, infrared. Looks good, choose okay. So there's a nice grayscale or black and white image of our shirt. Now we can put color into this, and that's really easy to do. Now, since we need four colors in here, we'll need four copies of this layer. So right click and then duplicate layer, choose OK, and do that two more times. There's one, and one more time, and there's two. So we have our four copies now of that layer. I'll work from the bottom to the top. So I'll just hide these, and I'll come down to this one right down there. Okay, let's go ahead and give this one that green color in here. So first I need to have that color. I'll reset my colors over here to their defaults, which is right there, black and white. Click on the foreground color swatch. That brings up the color picker. Now the color picker will allow you to choose a color right off of your working file. Notice that I'm on top of the colors over here, even though I'm not on the color layer. You can go ahead and do it that way. So click over here. That grabs that green. Choose OK. So I've now set the foreground color to that green. We're now going to put a new layer above this layer, so new layer button, there it is, and then fill that layer with that green color. We now need the green inside of the shirt, and you do that by making this into a clipping mask. Right click where the name is, and choose create clipping mask, and it goes inside. Now it's just a flat shape at this point. We need to have the color blending with the t-shirt, so obviously a blend mode is required. And since we're doing just a color blend, that one's easy. It's up here to the blend modes and come down to color. And it blends the green color into that t-shirt. Now it's not exactly right on the color, so it may take a, just a little bit of tweaking on the values. So come down here to this layer, and then go up here to layer and adjustment layer and levels, where it says use previous layer to create clipping mask. Make sure that is checked, choose okay. And then in here, grab the middle control, and you can do a little tweak left or right. I think this is to the right just a little bit, and that looks a lot better. So it just takes just a little tweak down here sometimes to get it real close to that color. 
It'll never be exact because this has all these different shades in here because of the folds and so forth, and that's a solid flat. But you can get it real close with just a little tweak. And there you go, we've now changed that color to match that green. All right, let's do our next one. I'll just hide all of this. There we go, top to bottom. And I'll show this one here. This is going to be our kind of a yellow color. Same thing, back to your foreground color, click on that. Click on your color in here, sample that, choose OK. There's that color. Make a new layer in here, so new layer button. Fill that layer with that color. There we go. And then merge this into here by doing a create clipping mask. That's a right click and create clipping mask. There we go. Again, we're going to be blending the color in. So blend mode, come down to color right there. It blends it in. And then Come down to your t-shirt layer, add a layer in here, adjustment layer right there, and levels. That should be checked, but make sure that is checked. Choose OK, and then just a little tweak. This one's a little bit dark, so I'll go to the left and lighten it up just a little bit. And that looks pretty good right there. Just a little tweak at that point. There's our next color. OK, let's just hide those top down. There we are. Up to our next one here, this will be the blue, so let's grab our blue color first. Same thing again, just like that. We need a new layer in here. There we go. Fill that layer with that blue. Right click on the name and create clipping mask. There it is. Blend that blue color in, and that's the blend modes and blue. And then come down to the t-shirt layer and an adjustment layer. layer new adjustment layer levels again make sure that's checked choose OK and then I think a little bit darker this time Oh, about like that that looks pretty good that's the blue and let's hide those and our final layer right here same thing grab your color picker and sample that pink color right there choose OK make a new layer Fill the new layer with that pink, right click on the name, create clipping mask, puts it inside, blend the color right there, come down to the t-shirt layer and our adjustment layer levels. Again, make sure that's checked, choose OK. And then a little bit, I think just a little bit darker this time, just, just a hair. And that looks pretty good. There we go. Now the Samples, the swatches over here are always on this image because, of course, they're on a layer above everything else. And the same thing for the overlay. If you wanted to have a t-shirt design printed up here, just put it on top of everything else. You can have multiple layers up here for multiple designs if you want to. And they'll just sit there above. So as I change the t-shirt down here, that stays the same. So there's the blue. And let's hide that one. And we'll work our way down. There is the yellowish color. And then there's that green color. So it's that easy to do. It all comes down really to getting the initial starting picture. Let's just hide everything here. Work my way down. There we go. And get that out of the way and hide that piece. So it's getting that first picture. Make sure you have a good clean picture to start with and it's on its own layer separate from the background. So background is just in behind like that. I also put just a real thin drop shadow. Kind of hard to see. There's just a little thin drop shadow down there. I used the layer styles to do that. So there you go. Once you have that then it's easy to go. Just make a copy of that. Convert that to black and white. And then it's a cinch to come in here and add in your color and adjust your values. Now for these color swatches, all I did was pull in a guideline over here someplace. And then I used the rectangular marquee tool and then created a rectangular shape and then simply filled that shape. Now it's easy once you have your first one done just to copy that and move the rectangular selection down. Let me show you that. I'll go up here onto the layer right there that has the swatches on it. And I can actually get rid of that guideline. We don't need that right now since it's only just for the initial alignment. Get that out of there. There we go. 
And since this is all on one layer up here, all I'll do is just make a copy right there. Just click on that. That makes a selection. And then if I'm on a selection tool, like the marquee tool up here, I can then use the down arrow and actually move that selection down just by tapping on that down arrow. And once I have the selection in position, it's just a matter then of choosing a new color and filling that spot with the new color. Let's go over here to the color picker again. There's the colors. And let's see, we don't really have anything kind of in the red range. Come down here. It's kind of a tomato red in there. Choose OK. Grab the paint bucket, click in there, and then deselect. So there it is. It's easy just to add more of your swatches. Just make your first rectangle or square and simply copy that selection and move that on down. So there we go. That is how you can do multicolors on one t-shirt matching a series of swatches. Okay, now if you had fun with this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share as well and also subscribe. And to learn a lot more about Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, and I'll see you next time.